kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to teach you how you can create your own stopwatch app using Android Studio. All right. So, first of all, I will give you the demo, and then I will be explaining the code that I have this uh, stopwatch app in Android. So, let's get started without wasting any time. So, here you can see when we open our app. So, first of all. let me open my app okay so now here you can see we have this uh, stopwatch and we have the start button so what i will do is i will click on start and there you can see that the stopwatch has uh, started and there you can also see the microseconds here and okay so if you click on pause so yes so you can see that the uh, stopwatch has been paused and there are two buttons either to continue or either to reset it so if we click on continue so it will continue from where it had stopped or it has paused okay so again if i click on pause so you can see that the stopwatch has been paused and if i click on reset so there you can see the uh, stopwatch is now reset and again if i click on start so you can see it will start from zero all right so i will uh, be giving you a short demo or you can say i will be explaining every a bit of it so that you understand and also i will upload this project link in the video description so you can get from there all right so first of all here you can see i have use the recycler view or i think we don't need the recycler view either only i have uh, used the butter knife for the view binding so it makes our code simple and short okay so if you don't know about the butter knife so i will also upload the link in the video description so you can also learn what the the butter knife does and why we use it okay so coming back to our project so inside this layout method you can see we have this whole layout with the background of black color so first of all that we will try from this linear layout and there you can see we have set the width and height to match parent and then we have the background here and uh, you can see the orientation and the padding so here we have we uh, are using again the linear layout and we have given the weight of of 7 uh, to it okay so we have this uh, weight as 7 uh, and now inside this we have 7 uh, views 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so inside this we will have uh, we will be giving the weight to every view so first of all here it is the text view 1 and we have uh, given the weight as 1 then we have another text view and so on and so forth we have this linear layout here all right so after this we have this linear layout with we have two buttons uh, the first one will be the continue button and okay so here you can see we are we have this whole button inside this layout and then we have this again uh, okay so there are the two linear layouts first one will be this linear layout and the other one will be this reset uh, layout so here you can see we have this layout okay this one is the first layout and this one is the second layout and finally we have another layout and that will contain the both uh, these two buttons all right so after we have these two so now we come back to our uh, main activity and there you can see we have used this bind view so we don't need to write the find view by id and all that stuff okay so this is the way of uh, using the button knife in your android projects so i have all the views always automatically binded so here we have the button start button stop button pause uh, similarly for the continue then we have some text views for the seconds minutes and hours and then we have the variables as we i have set it as set second set minute and set hour and also we have the temporary uh, 
uh, integer for our pause and also we have the this check okay so basically it it checks if the stop pause is currently paused or not okay then we uh, make invisible the continue uh, pause and stop button because at the start of this project when we open the app so the, the stopwatch will be uh, reset and it will not be started so we don't need to see these uh, continue pause and stop button so here you can see we have this on click so whenever this uh, the button start uh, uh, the button start button is clicked so this method will be called so we are now going to visit make visible the pause button and and we are going to in um, make invisible the start button and then we uh, we have it uh, check equal to false so here we are we have this async task class and we are doing all the work inside this async task so here we have this class as my class and we are sending the parameters first one is the thousand and it will the second then we have 12 for the hard the similarly 14 and 16 so here inside this uh, my class it has this async task it extend with async task and there we have we are uh, sending and here we have the temp pause so initially it value its value will be zero so we can say if i equal to zero i less than equal to params of zero so in this case we have set the params of zero as thousand and you can see it will check then we have this check as false and there we can similarly say return this and if it is check is false so we can now have this one loop so this here we have this one loop as and it is saying that long start time and then we uh, we need to just uh, start it while the current time is uh, minus start time is less than one okay so if when the uh, current time and the start time when we uh, subtract them and if it is less than one until then we need to continue the loop all right so i hope that you have understood then here we have this if i equal to 99 then we need to update our uh, second similarly this uh, i this is all about this uh, millisecond all right and also if we can we need to check now if the seconds are uh, 60 so we need to update the minute and uh, make the second as zero and also if we want to make if you, we check if the set mint is equal to 60 then we need to update the hour and put the uh, minutes to zero and also we need to publish uh, use the publish progress method that will update our ui so here inside this we can similarly we can easily set the value so for this values of ty, uh, index zero then we have uh, values of index one similarly two and three okay so zero is for the second then one is is for the uh, minutes and then we have it for the minutes and hour and so on and so forth all right guys so i hope that you have understood something and if you still uh, if you cannot understand it so i have uploaded the project in my video description link so you can get from there all right guys so i hope that you have understood if you guys like uh, if you guys like the video please like it and subscribe to my channel thank you